If you want to have life-changing wealth, you got to start by defining what is life-changing wealth for you. Is it $500,000, $5 million, $50 million? Let's assume that life-changing wealth for me is $5 million. And now let's work backwards. Let's assume that I'm making $50,000 a year right now. And I want to have $5 million worth of wealth because that would change my life and allow me to live a completely financially free life. Now, how am I going to go and get there? Well, assuming that I can go out and invest 15% of my income, that's $625 a month or $7,500 a year. And if I'm 30 years old today, that means maybe I'll have another 35 years to invest my money. That means there's $7,500 a year that I invest might grow to around two and a half million dollars, assuming that I get the historical average stock market return of around 10% a year which is not my life-changing wealth amount. Now you might say, well, just Preet, over the next few decades, you're gonna get a few raises, and if you get a raise, you'll be able to invest more money, which is fine. But in reality here, there are three options that you have to get to this wealth-changing amount sooner rather than later. Option A, get a new job so you have more money to invest. Option B is you get a new career so you have more money to invest. Or option C is you do something different to earn some more money, that way you have more money to invest. Now what I can tell you as an employer is when I publish a job application, we're gonna get a number of applications. Now, we're not gonna pick the person who we think is gonna be the most average. We're not gonna pick the person who we think just wants to get by. We're gonna pick the person that we believe is the most driven, who we think is gonna produce the most success, who we believe is the most passionate, who we believe is gonna come in and they're gonna have a drive to want to succeed. And if you're coming in just wanting to get by, you're not gonna be the person who's gonna get the biggest raises. You're not gonna be the person who's gonna get the biggest promotions. You're not gonna be the person that's gonna land the top tier jobs. You're not gonna be the person that's gonna land the top tier career. And so if you want to see the most success in your career, you have to be hungry, you have to be driven, and you have to be that, that passion oriented where you're learning outside of a job and you're wanting to succeed. And maybe that means getting a new job, Maybe that means getting a new career. Maybe that means finding a company that actually takes care of you where you have that upside potential because I get it, some companies are just crap, but there are some great companies out there that can pay you handsomely and give you the upside potential if you are willing to put in the work. But you gotta be willing to put in the work. But I'm not gonna talk about that for the purposes of this video. I wanna focus on number C or letter C, which can give you the most opportunity, which is doing something a little bit different, which will allow you to get to this wealth number significantly sooner than what you might expect. Now, what you gotta understand, when it comes to you building this life-changing wealth, you gotta have money to do that. Now, there's two ways for you to get this money. You can slowly just keep chipping away at it, and every single time you get a paycheck, you put some money into your investment, that way by the time you retire, you have this life-changing wealth. The alternative is you wanna fast track it. That way now, instead of waiting until you're 65, you can do it when you're 35 or 45 or 55, depending on where you're starting today, where now in the next five or 10 years, you can get to where you wanna go. Now, I'm not saying this is gonna be easy, but it is possible, but it's gonna require you to change the way that you think about how you earn your money. Because the way most of us are bred to think is if you can go out and get a job, maybe you can get a job that's paying you $50,000 a year. Maybe if you can get a career change, you can get a job that's paying you $100,000 a year. And if you really climb up the corporate ladder, maybe you can get a job that's paying you say $200,000 a year because now you're entering the big leagues. But now if we flip the script a little bit, let's think about what the other potentials are because what if now you create a business, I'll talk about the different things that you can do in just a minute, but let's assume now that you can create a business where you sell something and you make $100 every time you sell this product. Now it's just a math game. If you can sell 10 of these a month, well now you're making $1,000 a month. But if you can sell 100 a month, well now you're making 10 grand a month. If you can sell 1,000 of these a month, well now you get the point. Now you can make 100 grand a month, which can really accelerate how much money you're making, which also means you can accelerate how much money you're putting aside into your investments. Because if we really talk about building wealth, now we're talking about putting money aside into your investments, whether stocks or real estate or whatever your other investments are, you're building these investments that way you can keep getting paid without you working in the business. Now, sure, of course you can sell the business, but I'm not gonna get too deep into that in this video. We're talking about now earning more money that way you have more money to put aside into your investments. Now, 
you have the potential for essentially unlimited potential income. But the question is, how do you go about doing this? Because the reality is starting a business is not easy. Starting a business is not for everybody. There's a lot of crap on the internet. There's a lot of gurus selling you a whole bunch of crappy courses on the internet. How do you actually make real money as an entrepreneur? And the first thing is, well, one of the things you probably heard me talk about is why you should never blindly trust a random guy on YouTube. And what I mean by that here is if you're starting a business, you don't want to just blindly copy what somebody else is doing. Because if you really want to build a real business, I'm talking about a real business, not those crappy internet businesses that you keep hearing people talking about on the internet. A real business means you have to innovate and create something of value, something that's going to help solve somebody else's problem, something that's going to provide value to somebody else because now you're innovating and you're solving a problem. And if you can solve somebody's problem and get them to pay you $100, now the question is how can you scale that, that we can get 10 of those sales a month to 100 of those sales a month to 1,000 of those sales a month, because if you can sell 1,000 of them a month, well now you can get to your wealth number a whole lot faster. Because if you can live off of $5,000 a month and you're making 100 grand a month, that means now you have 95,000 extra dollars a month to put aside into your investments. Now you're gonna say, Jaspreet, that is so unrealistic. How do you expect me to make $100,000 a month? Do you understand that 90% of businesses fail? Do you understand that, that I get it. No one said it's gonna be easy. No one said it's gonna happen on your first go. It's gonna take a lot of hard work. It's gonna take some failures. It's gonna take some time. You're probably gonna lose some money at some point. You're probably gonna lose some sleep as well. But if you stick with it, you have the potential to see these types of opportunities. I know because I've been through that. If you enjoyed this clip and you want to continue your financial education journey, I have another video that I think you'll love. All you got to do is click that button right over there. And for those of you who want to stay up to date on the top finance and business news, you can join Market Briefs, my free financial newsletter, by clicking that button below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.